Hi guys, hope you're doing great. Hope you're excited to be doing your last assignment for math in the first grade, I do believe. Yeah, this is for Friday, so this is for the last day of school. All right, so we're gonna do problem solving. We've done this a whole bunch throughout the year, okay? So you're gonna need problem solving worksheet 120. Okay, you need a pencil. I don't think we need any crayons unless you just want them. All right, so if you need to get the worksheet and your pencil and your eraser, pause me and do that. And we will get started. All right, make sure you stay in the habit, always name a date. Okay. Um, might feel silly sitting there all by yourself, but. Everybody's sending me work. And if you get out of the habit of that, then it'll be a problem once you are back at school. All right, so we're going to do some problem solving. Do you guys remember what you're supposed to do when you problem solve? Okay, they don't have it on the A side, but they put it on the B side. All right, so first you need to understand. How do you understand? Okay, hopefully you remember. You gotta read the problem first of all. You gotta read it. You gotta really read it good. Don't just skim over it and say, oh yeah, they wanna know what one plus two is. Okay? You wanna really read it. Make sure you understand what they want you to know in the end. Okay? <clears throat> plan. So once you understand what they want from you, you make a plan how to come out with that, whether it's you're gonna draw the things or um, add the things together or look at, you know, boats, whatever the problem is asking you to do. Once you completely understand it, then you need a plan how you're going to get there, how you're going to do what they've asked you to do. Okay, then you solve. All right, a lot of times that's where people want to go straight to when they're starting a math problem. Okay, so you're going to understand it. You got to read it. Really think about what they're asking you to do. Make a plan based on that information, and then you're ready to solve. And then, because no one is perfect, myself included, always make sure that you check. Always go back and check your work. You never know. You might have focused on something when and missed something else. Or, you know, I told you that once you guys start doing math that's higher level, it's really easy to make mistakes on the little things because you're thinking about the big math problem. Okay? So always check yourself. Don't assume that you know everything and you're a superstar, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and work on the A side, all right? All right, so they want us to guess and check, all right? So that just means that before you start to really dissect and do the math and the problem, they want you to just kind of look at what your options are and see if it jumps out at you and you're able to know. You still need to look at it, work it through, check yourself and all that, but start trying to look at it and see if you're able to grab that idea, okay? All right, so let's read the, the word problem. Jose has 80 cents. He wants to spend it all at the school store. Circle three things he could buy with 80 cents. Okay, so we're looking at that first box. We've got 80 cents to spend. He doesn't want to have anything left. He wants to spend all of his 80 cents, okay? All right, so we have pencil for 20 cents, ruler for 30 cents, an eraser for 10 cents, a marker for 50 cents, and some crayons for 40 cents, okay? So we need it to equal 80, all right? So glance at that stuff, see if you right away can see something that would add up to 80 cents, okay? So he can get three things, okay? So if you see two items that equal 80 cents, it's not gonna work, you need three, okay? So you need to look at all of the things you have, all right? If you're stumped, if you don't see it, that's all right. So we're gonna have three numbers, okay? So I'm going to start out with the smaller number on here, and I'm going to see if I can build to 80 cents, okay? So the cheapest thing we have there is the eraser. It's only 10 cents, right? If it, you need to, you can jot some numbers over here, 
right? But we need three items to equal 80 cents. Okay, so if I get the eraser, okay, that's 10 cents, okay? And I'll just make myself a note. Oh, it's on that side. So I just put a 10 there. That's really for me. Okay. All right. So if I spend 10 cents for my 80 cents, how much do I have left? Okay. Remember when you're working with tens, you really just have to worry about the tens place numbers because zero is what's going to be in the other slot. See, they all have zero. So there's not anything that's like 42 cents or 23 cents. They all have a zero in the ones place. Okay. 80 cents does. 10 cents does. 20 cents does, 30 cents, 40 cents, 50 cents, okay? So we just got to worry about that tens place, all right? So you take 10 away from 80, it's just 8 minus 1 is 7, so it's 70, okay? So I have 70 cents left if I use 10 cents, okay? So I'm going to look, all right, so next, the pencil's 20 cents, okay? So if I put 20 over here, Okay, now I'm just going to look at my tens place. What's one plus two? It's three, right? So 30 cents will be how much I have spent if I get the eraser and the pencil. Okay, so how much money do we have left? If we have 80 cents and we spend 30 cents, okay, if it helps you, you can draw eight little circles on there. Let me do it here. I'll do it on the other side. See there? I made myself eight little circles. So those could be like dimes since we're working with 80 cents. Okay. All right. So if that helps you to be able to visualize the coins, you can mark through them. Okay. So if we've got 80 cents, we spend 30 cents, what's left? How many dimes would you have left? Okay. Hopefully we can get all the way to the 50. And I'll show you why. Okay. All right. So over here is where I did this way. Okay. With my coins. All right. So if there's eight and I spend one, two, try to do this backwards. Three. How many do I have left? One, two, three, four, five. See? All right. And if you put a five in my tens place, 50 cents is what we would need. Okay. So. I'm going to double check myself, though, to make sure. All right, so 10 cents for that eraser, 20 cents for the pencil, 50 cents for the marker. Okay? So 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay? So I'm going to look at that, and that equals 80 cents. So I feel pretty good about that. Okay, so I made sure I understood they want us to get to 80 cents, All right? I made a plan, okay? I started with the smallest number, the cheapest item, and I built up until I just needed to figure out one number, okay? So that's just one way you could do it. There are a lot of other ways we could have done that, all right? Then I solved it. I came up with that I wanted to spend 10 cents, 20 cents, and 50 cents. Then I double-checked it. I counted uh, eight coins. I looked at the prices. All right. So now that I've checked it, I feel, I feel like that's right. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to circle the eraser, the pencil and the marker. Okay. All right. So you have 50 cents for the pencil would be 20 more cents. So 50, 60, 70, and then 10 cents for the eraser, 80 cents, All right? So for me to remember that I have checked it, I'm going to put a little check mark there. Okay. All right. Now they want us to circle another way that we could buy three things for 80 cents. All right. So we're going to look at this down here. All right. Everything is still the same price. We're just going to do it a different way. Okay. So remember, we're still looking for three numbers. All right, so this time I'm going to look at some of the other options I have. Okay, so 
we have 10 cents, 20 cents, 30 cents, 40 cents, and 50 cents, right? All right, so check that out. I am going to use something that we didn't use last time, okay? Let's see, we use the eraser, the pencil. We didn't use the ruler last time, okay? So I'm gonna start out, I'm gonna use the ruler, all right? So I'm gonna put this over here for myself so I can figure it out, 30 cents, because my ruler costs 30 cents, okay? So if I have 80 cents, I'll draw the coins again for you guys. So if I have 80 cents, okay, and I spend 30 cents, mark out three of these guys here, okay, how many do I have left? Okay, I have one, two, three, four, five, so that's 50 cents, okay? So I'll have 50 cents left if I buy the ruler, okay? Now, remember, I have to buy three things. So are there two things that I would be able to buy for 50 cents if I buy that ruler? Okay. All right. So let's, let's buy something else that we didn't buy last time, okay? What about... <clears throat> the box of crayons. We didn't buy that last time. It's 40 cents. Is that less than 50 cents? Yeah. So we could do that one too. So I'm going to put a four over here, 40 over here so that I can buy that for 40 cents also. Okay. All right. So now I got to figure out what I have left. So I'm going to mark out four more of my little circles that I'm using as dimes. Okay. So I marked out four more of them. So how many do I have left? I just have one left, right? How much money is one dime? 10 cents. Okay. So is there anything there for 10 cents? Yeah, that eraser that we bought last time, right? Okay, so I'm going to look here. I have 30 cents, 40 cents, and 10 cents. I already worked it out over here. Like these were dimes, okay? So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and then I used that last time, and that was 80, okay? So I think I got it right. I'm going to double check myself, okay? You always want to go back and check. You always want to make sure that you haven't made a mistake, okay? So if I have 80 cents and I spend 30 cents, do you remember how much you have left? Right. 8 minus 3 is 5. Okay. All right. So if you have 80 cents and you spend 30 cents, you have 50 cents. Right? Because we're counting by tens. Right? All right. So that's right. All right. So then uh, if I spend 40 cents and I buy the box of crayons. Okay. So we had 50 cents. We spend 40 cents. All we have left is 10 cents. That eraser is 10 cents. So I think I did good. I don't think I made any mistakes. So I'm going to circle those items. Okay, so we're buying crayons, a ruler, and an eraser. Okay. All right. And then depending on how you work that out, you may want to check it one last time. Make sure that you haven't made a mistake. Okay. So you know that 30 plus 10, 3 plus 1 is 4, so 30 plus 10 is 40. And the box of crayons was 40. Do you remember your doubles? What was 4 plus 4? 8, right? So if you have 8 dimes, you have 80 cents, right? All right, so I think that I did a fantastic job. So I checked it. Those are the three things, okay? So we did two different scenarios where she could buy three different things. All right, so on the back side, I want you guys to try to do that by yourself, okay? Um, on that side, they're working with one dollar, okay? Hopefully you remember how many dimes are in a dollar. If you don't, it's all right. 
look at the numbers that are in one dollar okay now when we work with cents remember I showed you guys the dollar like that here let me see where I got another piece of paper I'll just write it right here on the side so don't you guys don't need to do this I'm just reminding you what a dollar is okay so if we have one dollar see that's the way they have written one dollar okay and put the dollar sign on okay so that's how you one dollar okay now remember I showed you guys in class that um, if you're going to do cents as dollars you just work with this decimal point okay this decimal point everything on this side is the cents everything on this side is a dollar okay if I want to write one dollar as cents, I just take out that decimal point and I add a cent sign. So one dollar is how many cents? It's a hundred cents, okay? So don't be intimidated by that. On the other side, 80 cents was what you were working with. A hundred cents is just 20 more, okay? So don't be intimidated by the dollar. Okay, so on this side, you have a dollar to spend in the store, which is just 100 cents. Okay, so good luck. Make sure you check yourself. Don't just assume that you got it. Okay, all right. I hope you guys have had a great year of first grade. That is your last first grade math assignment. I love you guys. I miss you. And uh, I hope that you guys are feeling good about math. All right, bye.